Good afternoon. I'm David Ruffin, uh, Principal of IntelliCredit. I uh, want to issue a thanks and a welcome to all on the webinar today for contributing your valuable time away from your day-to-day -day duties. Uh, speaking of which is exactly the point we want to make uh, in this webinar today. IntelliCredit's uh, new smart loan review solution saves all of you credit professionals valuable time, usually uh, committed to an onerous, intrusive loan review engagement and gives you, as one of our satisfied clients has recently said, time to do your day job. Um, there will be uh, copies of this presentation uh, shared with all the participants on today's webinar. Uh, Larry and I do uh, uh, come from IntelliCredit, which is the newest division of the Quick Rate family of products and services. Um, he and I share uh, a lot of combined years in the credit world. And uh, though we're now providing products and services, uh, we've been where you are, either as lenders, risk review, or credit officers. And hopefully in that sense, uh, what we share with you today resonates, and I might add uh, strikes you as innovative and with as much ease of use as we hope to develop for ourselves and those who use IntelliCredit for reviewing credits. Um, uh, th through our forming of the IntelliCredit division under the aegis of the quick rate family of products and services for community financial institutions, we've kept to the tradition of developing practical and affordable solutions for the less complex institutions. But quick rate also gave us the resources to develop something revolutionary, pairing a portfolio diagnostic tool with a loan review application on the same platform and interacting with each other in ways that we'll demonstrate for you in a moment. Um, there are other analytical report writing tools in, out there uh, in the marketplace, and there are even a couple of loan review software applications out there, but none combined on one platform interactive with each other. So we'll be showing you today our cloud-based IntelliCredit portal, which is comprised of the portfolio analyzer, and the smart loan review solutions. The primary energy source is the regulatory flat file or core system loan extract. We do the heavy lifting of data mapping, and therefore subsequent downloads or virtually push buttons. The application rests on Amazon Web Services and is SOC 2 compliant. It's designated for both internal and external loan review uses and is perfectly adaptable uh, for third-party vendors performing their own versions of credit file reviews. Uh, and fr frankly, as many as five other vendors are now looking at the IntelliCredit solution for use in their own loan review processes. If that hopefully gives you some sense of how uh, efficient and, and revolutionary this process may be. Now, of course, given our deep loan review experiences, Larry and I, uh, we certainly offer smart loan review uh, as a third party service if requested. So why smart loan review? This is I think where the revolution really begins. Given fiduciary and regulatory nature of your businesses, um, you are almost forever pummeled by outsiders peering into your work and second guessing your decisions. The another audit or a trip to the dentist analogy perhaps is apt here. Typical loan reviews are highly intrusive and create time sinks for internal staffs. In a pictures worth a thousand words category, the typical loan review process might conjure up this maddening visual uh, with continuous meetings, intrusions, interruptions, and often trading stacks of paper. Part of the time sink is the often lack of transparency between reviewers and staff leading to a bit of the blind, leading the blind as to where everyone is on certain credits, except through more time consuming meetings, exchanging documents. All for a point in time engagement that reasonably quickly begins to draw dust on some shelf of irrelevancy. Voila, the new revolutionary approach to the taxing traditional loan review process, we think, uh, is a far more efficient, far more transparent, far more informative process with IntelliCredit Smart Loan Review Solution. 
And what we think important to you is efficiencies leading to more affordable loan reviews. In a moment, Larry will demonstrate exactly how these revolutionary innovations can benefit you on the webinar today. So briefly, the portfolio analyzer uh, is where we begin. And in the uh, COVID and post-COVID world, uh, we think that gives financial institutions the ability to solve what I believe to be the most vexing legacy, frankly, of COVID uh, to our industry. And that is identifying the various and diverse pockets of risk spread through the loan portfolio. You know, unlike the last crisis, when we largely had one industry to blame uh, for taking us into the ditch, which was wonderful, every all things wonderful family housing, we're now tasked with ferreting out a whole variety of subsets of, of industries and, and borrower types that may be causing concern in the COVID and post-COVID world. Particularly given the current level of unprecedented credit uncertainty in bank loan portfolios, Portfolio Analyzer performs three primary tasks. One, it quantifies emerging credit risk by tying macro and aggregate trends to transactional borrowers prompting those trends. Secondly, it allows a user to drill down to industry or borrower hotspots, again, a far more daunting task due to COVID. And third, perhaps quite as importantly, it gives you, the user, the ability to create your own standard or customized reports or one-off analyses. And most important of all, without having to be a Power Excel user or professional data engineer. Larry will show you in a moment how we've removed those intermediate steps, making anyone at the C-suite or the board or the regulator even, or reviewer just as efficient in data analysis as the so-called uh, data experts. Another, we think, huge investment in uh, ease of use and efficiency. So for all the attributes of Portfolio Analyzer, the companion smart loan review becomes that much more effective. Uh, and risk informed. Smart loan review samples are better informed by portfolio diagnostics. But what every client is raving about is the ease of use, efficiencies, and minimal intrusiveness. Uh, the phrase we often use is real time, applied to production, exception clearing, and report generation. In other words, providing a less structured process to get through a review engagement. Use of the real time and telecredit portal allowed one chief credit officer to boast, as I alluded to earlier, this process allows me uh, to do my day job and still produces the quality substance you need. I do want to disabuse you at this point, however, of any fear you might have that efficiency is in any way a euphemism for superficiality. Remember, we built this as credit guys and certain substantive corners uh, can never be cut or sacrificed in that sense just for the ease of use. As Larry will soon show you, the application is designed with a wealth of credit risk descriptive options, including borrower appropriate financial spreads. Again, our biggest goal here was to bring a process, loan review, in from the cold, arguably a model that, uh, and trust me, I've been around a long time, I can probably say this, other than uh, through word processing and sp spreadsheet technology, uh, hasn't changed since, frankly, the regulators first required independent review of commercial credits in about 1990s. Loan review is often perceived as a one-off point in time engagement, relevant only for a brief time, drawing dust, and certainly not living beside ongoing portfolio analytics. We think through placing smart loan review as a companion to portfolio analyzer, we've changed that paradigm. So before I hand it over to Larry, I'd like to briefly summarize the approach we've taken at IntelliCredit in developing both the Portfolio Analyzer and Smart Loan Review. While we may get red flags and, and public data, uh, such as from our sister division, Quick Analytics, um, and, and which they are clearly expert at, remember our energy source, if you will, is non-public, idiosyncratic loan portfolio data not usually seen by outside stakeholders like investors or peers. Even regulators tend to see uh, our financial institutions largely through public data rather than non-public data. Um, we use the drill down or peel the onion metaphor, whichever it applies to better understand acknowledged and emerging credit risk. And here the revolutionary pairing again of, of it 
with the smart loan review. A part, I think they may not be necessarily groundbreaking, but together they make each other much more effective tools. The portfolio analyzer now has the full down concept or the full drill down concept uh, of fully complete uh, from the highest, most troubling macro trend down to the most minor technical loan review exception. On the other hand, smart loan review now has the ability to determine a much more informed target of loans or borrowers for review. So as I turn this over to Larry, I just, uh, he will be giving explicit demonstration on five of the key attributes of why we think in Telecredit Smart Loan Review Solution is so important. Uh, starting with the automated sample selection, uh, the online loan review, the real-time exception monitoring and clearing, the fluid uh, project visibility or the transparency, uh, then concluding with the instant reports and insights into Portfolio Analyzer. And again, the first two link um, the, uh, the two together in one platform. So Larry, at this time, I will hand it over to you uh, for the demonstration. Yeah, thank you, everyone. I'm going to be respectful of your time, but I do want to take about 10 to 15 minutes to kind of walk you through some of these key attributes. Now, as David said, when you have uh, independent third parties either doing remote loan review or in at your bank, what, what we saw one of the greatest challenges was just logistical inefficiency. So how do we pass back and forth work? How do we deliver reports? How do we deliver exceptions? How does the bank respond to those reports and exceptions for us to, to re-update our, re our loan review write up? So what we've done is delivered that um, loan review experience back by credit experts through a web-based portal. And that's what you're looking at. Okay. So David is, uh, has talked about five key attributes. And I just wanted to um, first talk to you about smart loan review, which will cover three of those key attributes of our process. And then I'm gonna take you over here to what we call portfolio analyzer, which is our analytics tool and helps us cover uh, two, two of those five key attributes as well. So the first thing, um, anytime that we do loan review for a bank or for a credit union, everything, all correspondence that we have is delivered through this uh, web-based portal. For this uh, community bank or community financial institution called Pony, um, you can see here that they've essentially done four loan reviews within our application. So. Let's assume that we're in the middle of a loan review for your financial institution. Um, we how, how do we deliver a report? So how can you first off see um, fluid project visibility? How can you um, see this online loan review process? I'm going to go to this one loan review environment and scroll over to what we call our reporting portal. When I click on the reporting portal, we as review have the same access as you do as a, um, as a member of your financial institution. So this is an example of a 34 loan sample that's in process. You can see IntelliCredit has completed 11 of those reviews, 23 remain to be completed. So what happens is every time we review a credit or a borrower relationship and publish it to the portal, you'll be able to log into the portal and see what's been done. You can essentially track the engagement in real time. Um, if you want to see which 11 credits have been reviewed, I'm going to come up here to this individual loan review reports tab. Let me change this to the institution view. So here is a list of the individual, the 11 individual credits that have been um, reviewed by um, us as the credit review team. We present these in a summary grid format. So this is uh, in and of itself as a report that could be delivered as a board deliverable. Um, we show key information on the summary report, such as borrower name, note number, balance and exposure, loan officer, product type code. Uh, you can see the current risk grade and the recommended risk grade. And then we give you a key finding or a key summary why we either concur with the risk grade or recommending it for a grade change. Now, this is just our summary grid. If you wanted to learn a little bit more about this credit, perhaps, you wanted to see the full loan review write-up for a knee and associates through our cloud-based portal, you can just click on the borrower name and it's gonna pull up the full individual write-up. 
Um, when we provide loan review as a third party service, um, this is kind of the, the layout of our write-up. We have a section on the borrower background. We discuss primary and secondary source of repayment being um, cash flow being our primary, collateral and guarantor capacity being secondary source of repayment. We have a summary statement, again, that shows why we concur with a risk grade or recommend a grade change. Uh, we have the risk grade changes table, which is going to show the beginning risk grades for that borrower and our recommended risk grades. Um, in addition <clears throat> to opining on risk grades, there's also three other key areas that we discuss. So one, borrower underwriting rating. Um, we look at the underwriting per the terms of your financial institution's policy and say, was the underwriting satisfactory or were there noted deficiencies? We also evaluate credit servicing. So post loan booking, how is the financial, your financial institution doing with uh, getting updated annual reviews per your policy or updated financials per your policy? And then also for all non-pass credits, um, we opine on the workout plan strategy for your financial institution. Now that is a direct result of the, the interagency guidance that was released in May of 2020 that said independent third party loan review should be opining on workout plans for all non-pass credits. Um, scrolling on down for our write-up, we capture just various data points that come off the core system file. We're going to discuss the terms of the loans um, based on the promissory note and the amendments in file, the collateral description, and then finally, uh, we will capture key data points based on the, the type of credit that is reviewed. So for example, in this credit, we're looking at a commercial loan, so it'll have a certain set of data points, whereas if we were looking at let's say a hotel loan, we would have data points on the average daily rate, occupancy, is the hotel flagged or not, those sorts of things. Um, but again, the key takeaway here is at any point in time, you can log on and it's just very transparent to see where is IntelliCredit at within the review. And then if you want to review individual credits, you could do so by simply clicking on the links to those individual credits. Within our reporting portal, which is what you're looking at here, we've also provided the ability to easily track risk grade changes so if we're doing a 100 loan sample or a 200 loan sample for your bank, and we're only going to be in the bank for, let's say, a week, um, what, what are we going to discuss most as a credit review team and as an IntelliCredit team? We're going to discuss material credits where we're recommending grade changes. So within our reporting portal, we've also essentially created a subset of loans where any grade changes have been um, recommended. As you can see, this really not only helps the logistics of the, the review process, but it also helps us focus as, as management and IntelliCredit management, what credit should we be discussing on a daily basis? And then finally, within our reporting portal, um, at the conclusion of each loan review, we have a section where we will deliver a, a management report to your management team and also a board level summary point, a report, which is a a 10 to 15 slide PowerPoint deck with our key findings. So again, all work is traded through the reporting portal. All work is published in real time and the bank can simply log in at any point throughout the day, see exactly where IntelliCredit is with the review and then your bank or your credit union um, can read those reports as suits your schedule. Um, another thing that David alluded to was the idea of real-time clearing and tracking of exceptions. Just like we have the reporting portal, which is what you're looking at now, your financial institution would also be given access to the exceptions portal. And this is probably the biggest time saver for your financial institution when it comes to the loan review process. So typically in a loan review, um, a, a loan review firm may cite your certain borrowers for missing financials. You have to wait for them to get you an acceptance list or a report. You have to respond to that report. You then have to rate, wait for the loan review team to update that write up. And you don't even know it's updated until you're re-delivered that report. So with our exceptions portal, we just make it a very fluid process to track documents back and forth. And this is what I mean. 
Um, we track three types of legal doc except or three types of, of exceptions. We track legal doc exceptions. Those would be things such as um, missing guarantee agreements, or maybe we should see a recorded deed. Of, we only see, saw the recorded deed of trust. We track credit exceptions. Those would be missing financials, missing annual reviews, missing um, personal financial statements. And then missing, and then we also track loan policy exceptions. So any exceptions that we know that are an exception to your financial institution's specific policy, we will cite it. So for instance, if your uh, institution's policy is you do not make loans below a 1.20 debt service coverage, but we see a loan that was originated at a 1.12 debt service coverage, we're going to cite that as an exception and then also indicate was that exception mitigated or approved. But let's let's go and just give one example of real time clearing. So let's say that this is a loan review week. Um, you can see here we've cited this uh, this financial institution for three exceptions. It looks like four has already been cleared by the bank. If I'm going to go to I'm going to click on this tab. This is legal doc exceptions. This top table is a list of exceptions that are outstanding. And this bottom table is a list of exceptions that have been cleared. So your, your credit team or your loan operations team or your loan officer would have access to this portal. And you could see in real time, what are we critiquing your bank or your credit union for? So in this example, Aeneanic Associates, we have cited them for a missing guarantee agreement and said that it is a critical exception. Um, you would be able to see this in real time as soon as we cite it. If you know where the guarantee agreement is, you can just click the upload button. You can drag and drop the guarantee agreement to our portal, click upload the file. Um, once the file is uploaded, it is gonna show you, it'll show both you and IntelliCredit um, who uploaded the file, the time that the file was uploaded, you can up upload multiple files. But what this allows us to do, once a file is uploaded, you'll see that the status changes to pending over here, which tells me as, a, as an IntelliCredit team me member, I have an action item. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at the file that has been uploaded. Here, I've just pulled down the guarantee agreement. Once I'm satisfied that this guarantee agreement um, satisfies the exception, from this portal, I can just simply clear um, the exception. And I'll show you that in just one second. Um, let me refresh my screen here, hold on. <clears throat> so once the document has been uploaded, I can change the status from pending to cleared. Once I change the status to from pending to cleared, my exception now jumps below the line to the cleared exceptions table and the, the table above is only my list of outstanding exceptions. This works for all three types. So credit exceptions, if we cite a, a specific borrower for a missing financial or a missing annual review, you could again, simply just upload documents to each of these line items and we could clear the exception. Saves a tremendous amount of time from having to figure out how to pass paper securely back and forth and uh, update individual loan review write-up. So um, again, the, the, any exception that is cited is cited um, and available to your institution in real time, and you can begin clearing these in real time. So we've covered three things. We've covered the fluid project visibility. At any time, you can see where we are at in a review. Um, we've covered the online um, loan review process. So the ability to access individual reports in real time. And then we've covered through the exceptions portal, the, the real time clearing of the portfolio. Um, two other things that I wanted to show is our ability to do smart sampling and really just do some, be able to see real um, instant insights into portfolio analytics. Um, we've been over here on the smart loan review, but I wanna show you our, our um, the other half of this application, which is called Portfolio Analyzer. Now, as David alluded to early, our starting point for a loan review and our starting point for this Portfolio Analyzer is the regulatory alert file for banks or the ARIES file for credit unions. Um, in this example, Pony Community Financial 
we have uploaded, you can see six quarter end um, core system files. We find that month end files work, work the best. But as soon as you've uploaded those files, almost immediately you can begin seeing some real time analytics on your portfolio. So for example, this is an example of uh, the 630 2020 core system file has been uploaded. You can see there's 816 loans within this portfolio, roughly 340 million in balances. Uh, you can see in this middle section right here, the, the distribution of risk grades, the section over to the right, days past due. If I wanted to see the 30 loans, the $9.2 million in balances that are 30 days past due, I can just simply click on a cell and drill down and it's going to recall those 19 loans that make up that $9.2 million subset. So just to give you an idea, every chart, table, or graph that you see within this portfolio analyzer application is interactive and you can um, drill to, to find the loans that make up certain subsets. So here's an example of a distribution of this financial institution's portfolio by risk grade let for over the last five quarters. If I just deselect the pass rated credits and the weak pass credit, this is kind of quickly showing me a trend over the last five quarters, what have the criticized and classified loan balances looked like? Um, at the most recent quarter end, if I wanted to see the $10.2 million in criticized classified loans, again, I can just click on this number and here's the 16 loans that make up my $10.3 million in criticized and classified balances. Again, kind of push button analytics at your fingertips. Now, how we use this is to identify what we think are specific risk pockets within your portfolio when we select a loan review sample. So no more are we just picking the top loans at the bank, the top borrowers at the bank, randomly picking um, a handful of, of different credits by different product types. We're going to take your core system file, upload it onto our pl platform, and then immediately try to begin to identify some risk pockets. So for example, I'm going to use our querying tool one of the first things that I do, I notice that in this post-COVID environment, many banks and many credit unions have begun for their commercial portfolio to track um, NASIC's industries code. So I'm going to add a filter here. I want to search for loans that have a NASIC industry code, let's say, um, that is one of hotel loans. So when I apply this, uh, this filter, um, within this portfolio for this bank, there's 24 loans that have the NASIC industry code of hotels. And let me show you, let me show you here. So we can see this in the chart below. So all of these loans you can see fall in the NASIC industry code um, category of hotels. Maybe you wanna add a, an additional filter and only look at loans that have risk grades that are, let's say, weak pass. So these two conditions, hotel loans that are weak pass, there's 11 loans that meet these conditions. Um, here's a perfect example if I'm looking at Sunshine Hospitality. Um, this is a borrower relationship, five loans, roughly 3 million in balances. I can see that all of these loans are risk graded four, which for this financial institution is weak pass. And all of these loans are currently 16 days past due. This relationship would be a perfect candidate to add to my loan review sample because not only is it a, a hotel loan, which is service industry disproportionately affected by COVID, but I can already see that um, all the past that all four of these credits are, are showing some delinquency. Um, we also have the ability within this over on the left side of the screen, we just have some standard reporting and I won't, I won't go through all of this, but um, one of the reports that I like to look at when I'm uh, doing some smart sampling is this top borrowers and concentrations report. Uh, this is just showing a, a distribution of my top borrowers. I can also filter this by top relationships. Maybe I want to see the top 25 relationships at the bank. Um, I can see that there's three loans within the Ipsum relationship, roughly uh, 11. $8 million in balances. These are, are three loans that would potentially be added to the portfolio. Um, one other thing that I, that I haven't, haven't discussed, over here when you drill down in this far right column, if we have performed a loan review for um, within 
with for your financial institution, any loan review that has been performed will actually be linked within this portfolio analyzer. So if, uh, if I'm doing any analytics or drill down work and I see that a, a loan review has been performed, you can just click this hyperlink and it's going to pull up the, the individual loan write-up for that specific borrower. Here's an example of one that's incomplete, but the, the idea is the same. If, if a loan review or write-up has been completed, it will link within the portfolio analyzer. Um, another thing that I like to look at again is industry code. So right now, let's look at the top 10 industries at this bank. Um, and I'm gonna even take it a step further. I wanna look at the top industries at this bank. So you can see um, out of the 816 loans, we've got some solar electric generation, we've got some advertising agencies, but let's take it a step further and look at only the loans by industry that have had COVID modifications. So I'm gonna apply this COVID loan tag. Um, so there's 144 loans within this portfolio that have had COVID modifications. Just scrolling down the list again, I see um, seven hotel loans that have COVID modifications. If I wanna drill down and see those seven loans, um, probably all seven of these loans would be added to my loan review sampling uh, given that they're both service industry loans with COVID modifications. So the idea here, um, just so you know, is um, you will be have, a, if we do smart loan review for your financial institution, you will have access to this portfolio analyzer to kind of gauge and understand um, things about your portfolio. But we also encourage financial institutions to, to continually to allow us to, to subscribe to this service so you can continually populate this with month in um, core system files. And you won't just have a point in time kind of analytics dashboard for your portfolio, but you'll also have a, the ability to see throughout time and going forward to identify risks within your portfolio. So I'm gonna pause right there, see if there's any questions that have popped up on the webinar, but uh, turn it over as well to David Ruffin to kind of wrap this up for us today. Great, Larry. Thank you very, very much. Um, hopefully you can see the screen. Um, well, let's see here. Yeah, we're seeing you, David. There we go. So um, the in, in summary, and, and wanted to, again, just summarize a lot of what Larry has shown in, in to use the phrase real time. Uh, we think uh, smart loan review benefits for your team would certainly allow you uh, remote access to the financial institution's loan detail and trends whenever the data is updated. We don't charge any per seat licensing. The access to this uh, solution is frankly in the hands of the bank management. You can narrow it or ex extend it as, as far as you would want to, to anybody at the financial institution. It certainly hones for more informative risk precise sampling of borrowers for reviews and further analyses. It, it what I think to be quite appropriate in a COVID or post COVID world. It chronicles and compares previous loan review results, including sampling, risk grade changes and migrations, levels of exceptions. It gives you the drill down uh, capabilities uh, into hotspots. And it certainly guarantees efficiencies by coupling the portfolio analytics and the loan review solutions together. And I think uh, it really does offer you all the important aspects uh, of loan review in real time in one easy to use application. And if I might, avoiding that kind of trip to the dentist aspect that so much of loan review has be become uh, known for. Um, it, it would be, uh, Larry alluded to this, and it's very important because as fate would have it, the interagency guidance was released and that does uh, include the three banking regulators and as well as NCUA uh, for credit unions uh, released th their guidance as of uh, May 8th, 2020 to make sure that the entire financial industry was aware of their sense that all credit risk review systems needed to be kind of buttressed, if you will. Some of that was coming because of the sense that we were approaching an inevitable change in the credit cycle anyway. That was not, that COVID wasn't even anticipated at that point. But uh, we certainly are very, very comfortable 
that every aspect of the IntelliCredit Smart Loan Review Solution partnered with Portfolio Analyzer uh, meets every aspect of the strength and guidance by the interagency uh, regulators. And I may hasten to say again, I, everything we're hearing anecdotally uh, and even from regulators is they're, they're really looking at 2021 and 2022 as a much more normalized uh, examination environment. And there is a distinct burden, I think, being placed on all financial institutions to now that we've allow the 2020 uh, timeframe to pass is to really put some effort into un understanding and as we call it on our side, writing your own script around where your credit risk profile is at your financial institutions. So again, thank you so much for attending and, and what's next. Uh, frankly, uh, please call me to schedule a more one-on-one -on -one appropriate demonstration or discussion about how Smart Loan Review can help reduce your loan quality uncertainty, write your own credit risk profile and, and, and in the most efficient you know, and less intrusive way we think yet. Um, we're so confident uh, in the, the, the efficiencies related to this, both frankly for the user and the financial institutions and ourselves as, as reviewers, clearly would translate into lower fees. And in that sense, we would really uh, appreciate the opportunity to figure out a way how we could um, appropriately uh, make that comparison for you. We, we do understand loan review is not a, uh, a, a one-off decision. Sometimes it's embedded in contractual obligations for a year or so out, but at least give us an opportunity as you're thinking about uh, for future loan reviews or bidding uh, process, we would absolutely love to be a part of that because we do believe very much that part of our whole mission was to create a solution that was revolutionary in the loan review world. Uh, again, bringing it out from the cold, tying it into an interactive diagnostic, and most importantly, making it less intrusive and less onerous uh, for you uh, in your day-to-day -day work at the financial institutions. Again, please give us a call or, or reach out to me uh, in directly or through through my email address here and we would love to have a further conversation with you thank you again so much for attending and good day